I literally cannot even believe I am saying this right now. This year has flown by, but hi guys, welcome to my flat, my first, what a way to start it, my first vlog of December, Vlogmas. Um, I'm not actually going to be calling it Vlogmas this year, simply because I have the most biggest pile of uni work to do, so I might not be able to vlog every day, but I'm so freaking excited and I'm going to vlog as much as I can in December. So yeah, I'm actually living at home whilst I'm at university and we've had our downstairs Christmas tree, which looks amazing by the way. We've had it up for two weeks already. So I'll take you down and show you that in a second. Uh, but that just shows you how much my whole family loves Christmas. And my bedroom is looking a little bit uninspired at the moment. There are no decorations up apart from a mug, which <laughs> isn't really a decoration decoration so I'm just going to be decorating everything and the first thing I'm going to do is obviously change out of this non-Christmassy jumper into a Christmas jumper Woo! Team Rudolph! Yay! I got this sweater like two years ago from Topshop and I wore it last Christmas I know that I'm pretty much gonna wear it every day this year so I'm gonna take you guys down and show you the lounge I need to grab myself a coffee um why is the camera making me look so pale today I don't know please ignore that um but I need to grab myself coffee I think there's some iced coffee in the fridge and then I'm gonna bring you guys back up and we're gonna decorate my bedroom so our coffee table just has a few little ornaments on fairy lights near our fire. We've got a ho 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 thing there with tinsel around our mirror. Coming down here, hey Bean! Um, we've got our little cat box so he can sleep near the radiator. He's got a um, stocking. This is full of cat goodies which he is going to get on Christmas. You can't have them now Beanie. So this snowman's been in our family since the 90s. He's very dusty. He's been out every single Christmas for about the past 15 years. And then by the tally we have this lovely sparkly gold garland. And then onto our Christmas tree. So what would happen every Christmas is we'd have this lovely seven foot real Christmas tree. We'd go and pick it out on the 1st of December, put it up, and then by Christmas it would be half dead. All of the pine needles would be all over the floor and it was just dead at Christmas. So to combat that we just got this huge fake one. My sister's actually put a real gingerbread man on our dining room tree alongside the little fake ones. How is that going to work, JB? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's... It looks cute. It looks cute. It's though. Yeah, it makes the tree smell like gingerbread. I think it's just going to fall off one day. We'll come in, find Hoover it on the floor, it. hoover it up, and all the... So I really wanted to show you guys my iced coffee of choice. It's by Califia Farms and it's the XX Espresso Cold Brew Coffee with Almond Milk. And my favourite is the Mocha one. It tastes like Bailey's alcoholic drink. I don't know why, um, but it's so, so good and it just goes in your fridge and you can get it from the supermarket. So you guys should totally try this out. To start things off, I thought I'd do a really quick little Christmas ornament um, kind of haul to show you guys what ornaments I've picked up already and as it goes through December I'll be picking up little bits as well um, so yeah okay so I'm starting off with like possibly my favorite decoration ever now I was in Starbucks yesterday and Starbucks have these gorgeous trees up this year with coffee cups on them and I asked the very kind man at my local Starbucks who knows me and knows my boyfriend they always talk to us um if I could have one and he very kindly let me have one so I think I mentioned on my last vlog actually that I really wanted one and I got one so yeah the second thing isn't really an ornament but it's this mug I had to show you guys because I featured this in my last Primark haul and Primark have recently bought out Harry Potter kind of his head version of this which is actually adorable so I need to go into Primark and get one of those. This is only £4 and it's just an absolutely gigantic gingerbread mug. So when I posted a picture of this balloon bunting on my Instagram story I had so many messages asking where I got it from. I actually got it from New Look. I never usually go into New Look, it's not usually a shop I would go into, but I was in there for Black Friday in the sales and they had 25% off and they had some like decorations near the tills including this 
balloon bunting. It's $6.99. I got 25% off. And I was thinking the area behind me where my bed is is looking pretty bare. So that is where this can come in. So next, these kind of epitomize my absolute love and obsession with popcorn. And I know it's super unhealthy. Salted popcorn is like one of my favorite foods though. So I have these two popcorn, well I'm going to say they're salted popcorn ornaments for my tree. I got this one last year in the Topshop sale. This is by Von Dells. And then this year my mum actually picked this up for me because she obviously knows I love popcorn. This is from Primark. Next I have this little balloon animal dog. And this reminded me of Kate Spade, which is pretty much the only reason I bought this because I was on the Kate Spade website a few weeks ago and she bought out a range of like balloon like metal balloon animal key rings and stuff like that and this one as soon as I walked in the front door and showed this to my sister she thought this was Kate Spade it's actually two pounds from Asda would you believe so very Kate Spade inspired like designer inspired but it's a balloon animal dog and it's from Asda so <laughs> I have these two leaves these were really affordable from Asda they were 75p each they're glitter all over and I really like them. So my next spore ball is possibly one of the most amazing things I've ever seen Primark do. It's this Harry Potter gigantic bore ball. It was five pounds and inside it's filled with a ton of kind of silver and gold glitter, which is so fun to like swirl around. My love of Harry Potter can spell out onto my Christmas tree and I'm going to go back and get loads more of these. I know they had a different kind of design of Harry Potter one as well, so. And then I have this whole box of Christmas ornaments. These are like my older Christmas ornaments. I found this little pug candle. I actually did a video with Primark last year for Christmas and I still have a load of those decorations, including my favorite one, which is the little Mickey glove. Something about this glove I don't know, I just find this just as so cute. Oh wow, I completely forgot about this huge Mickey bauble. It was actually quite funny because last year I tried to use this for the whole month on the top of my tree as like the star or the angel. I used this and it would just tip my tree over but for some reason I didn't take it off. I don't know why so I don't know whether my tree is going to be able to hold the weight of this because it's simply like as big as my own head but we will see. And I've actually already received some cards this year. I got this one. All I want for Christmas is pizza from the girls at Coconut Lane and then Old oh Dear sent me this one as well. Feed me and tell me I'm pretty. I need to come up with a name for my little reindeer planter. I was headed out of the supermarket today. I saw him and I couldn't resist. He has little welly boots. If you have any suggestions for a name leave it down in the comments and this plant actually has glitter on it. I'm not sure whether it's going to pick up on camera but hopefully I can keep that alive. I'm not very good with plants. He has a little pom-pom nose and he looks super cute just by my mirror like that. So the first thing I'm going to put up is my Merry Christmas bunting because I love balloon bunting and stuff like that. Okay so how do I do this? I've got some string. I thought they'd all be like connected, but they're not. This is going to take ages. <laughs> I'm having a real issue finding the hole. It basically says insert the straw into the balloon opening. And it has no opening. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Found it. And then I'm just going to push the straw all the way in. Woo! Uh, I think losing this much oxygen is giving me a headache. All left, thankfully. Okay, so I finally finished and these literally took me so long and I feel like I've got a headache now and I'm just gonna thread them together and put them up over my bed. Woo! <laughs> okay, so I've got the M, E, R, I. I like the I because it's literally just a sausage. <laughs> S, T, good job I can spell, right? <laughs> S. Merry Christmas! Oh, the M's gone wonky. This banner is actually a lot bigger than I expected. It's huge, so I don't know whether it's going to actually fit up there. So, I've finally done it. I've got the balloons up. I've just taken, I had three photos up here and I've just taken them down. And I think it looks great. It's obviously a lot bigger than I was expecting. I thought it'd fit in this space here. 
um, but obviously I've got my pull cord here which I can't do anything about but overall I love it it's something different I've never really had any decorations like this up for Christmas my sister's going to be so jealous okay now moving on to my actual Christmas tree so I've got it in this rather tatty looking box I've had an issue with the base of the tree being that there was no legs for it in the box which is weird so they must be still up in the attic but I've just put it in a box like that and put a few presents there I actually have a load of presents to bring in and put under the tree so I'll do that after I've decorated it and this is what the tree looks like bare it looks really naked at the moment and I'm thinking because I'm five foot five this tree is about as tall as my boyfriend Matt so it's about a six foot tree. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna knock it over then. It's really unstable in that box. I need to find the legs for it, but that's what it looks like bare. And let's get decorating it. I love tinsel. So I've got a load of silver and white tinsels. I've got some white bubbles too. And I'm gonna cover the tree. I actually need to go out and buy some more tinsel because this is not going to be enough. Okay, first bauble of many. And it looks good. I wish I had another one of these. Um, but there we go. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, the Coca-Cola Christmas advert. I hope this isn't copyright, but this is the first time this year I've seen it. And I'm decorating my tree. Oh, Christmas is here. I had a package today that came with a load of this stuff so I thought I would have a bit of fun and drape it over the tree hopefully this goes well Whee! yes the tree's catching it that went well it's like draped all over the tree that looks really good there's some on the floor too so I've just stopped to have a little water break and every time I buy this I just feel like it's the coolest thing ever and all it is is black water and it's called BLK like black and when you drink it it says enjoy the dark side I only buy it for the pure gimmick value of it being black water I don't know, apparently what makes it black is fulvic trace minerals. I really don't know. Santa called, he wants his sack of presents back. Oh, when I said I had a lot of presents, I wasn't lying. And this big sack has my name embroidered on it. It's full of presents. So exciting. I'm going to be opening those on camera very soon for you guys and for myself, obviously. <laughs> guys like my room this is actually just the start of me decorating I haven't got anywhere near the amount of like fairy lights and tinsel that I want to kind of put around my room so that is soon to come I have a lot more shopping to do but this is the start of my Christmas decorating and couldn't be more excited I'm gonna go and stick some Mariah Carey on and dance around my room and um, as I said I'm not going to be doing vlogmas um, this month however I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can so I might even end up doing daily vlogs who knows we shall see I can't make promises because of obviously uni work but I actually finished my third year of uni after about May time so then I can properly think about YouTube every single day which is super exciting anyway don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my Christmas content I have loads of videos planned anyway and I will see you all next time bye everyone Snow